Hi, my name is Jacob and welcome to another segment of Ron and Cut on the Abrasive Conversation platform. Today I want to speak about gender-based violence in South Africa. And I want you who's watching this particular Ron and Cut section is to help me think what we can do about the never-ending um, violence against women and children in South Africa. As you would know, you might have a, a child or you might have a um, woman that is very close to you in your immediate circle. And it's a terrifying thought nowadays to, um, to let them go any place alone or without any level of protection. Nowadays, even if a child has protection, they are being kidnapped in South Africa under, even under heavy, heavy protection. So women and children has become the targets of, uh, a, I want to say, a senseless type of violence in South Africa. And sadly, most of the perpetrators of that violence are men. So I'm sick and tired of, of men killing women and children in South Africa. I'm sick and tired of men being the, uh, being the perpetrators um, of violence against uh, women and children in South Africa. And if you are a man who is saying, but not all men are killing um, women and children, or not all men are responsible for violence against women and children in South Africa, I would say that is an attempt to silence um, the reality that women and children are on the receiving end of violence in South Africa. So when women are saying is that, um, look, there's, there's a common de denominator happening here, it's mostly men that is killing women and children. They're not saying that to say that you are guilty, um, who is catching feelings. What they're actually saying is that um, there's a problem here and we have to look at a specific problem. So since there's a problem, um, let's not silence the voices who is trying to highlight the specific, specific problem. So if you are one of those people who are saying, but not all, all men are responsible for this particular violence, then you are part of the problem. You are not part of the solution. You want to silence um, the voice of women. So I don't want to come on this particular platform and want to speak on behalf of, of women. Um, that's the one thing I don't want to do. I think um, women, this is, this is one of the one of the topics that I'm as a, as, as, as a privileged male figure um, and body in South Africa is very uncomfortable of speaking, of, uh, speaking about because I know that my representation as a man uh, gives them anxiety at night when they see me, uh, I'm most probably one of those men that might hurt them. And even, even, even if it comes to children, that's just the reality. So I'm not catching feelings, uh, feelings with regards to that, that reality because I know that if I was a woman or a child in South Africa, I would have been so scared um, of just living in this particular country that doesn't value women and children. And the sad reality is, is that there is no future for any country or any society that is killing women and children because it's cannibalistic in nature and the, the, end, the, 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 it, and the end result is a total collapse of that particular society. And in South Africa, we are on our way there. We are um, very quickly on our way to a total collapse because we don't value the, the women and children in our society. So what can we do? What can we do about it? Um, to me, it seems that there's many programs out there that is, that is trying to help. Um, there's many women who have, saying, have been saying this and have pointing to some of the core issues and where we can start doing it. But it seems as men doesn't want to hear it because I think it's the ignorance that is, that is the most most deafening and the most lethal in this particular uh, 
epidemic that we have in South Africa. Many men have become tone deaf with regards to this particular issue. Um, and they don't even hear it because they do not see themselves or they don't see their gender uh, as part of the problem. They are privileged figures in South Africa. So I think uh, the obvious solution here is for men to shut up on this particular issue. And that includes me who's making this particular um, thing is for us to shut up. And the second thing is for us to, to stop silencing um, woman. Let woman speak. Let woman come um, tell them, look and point them out and then we have to swiftly act on, on those uh, particular perpetrators. But all of these methods that I'm just saying there have been tried um, uh, in, 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 in South Africa and yet, but all of many programs and, 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 and uh, there's no clear result. This issue keep continue in South Africa. So um, I think central to this particular issue is men wants to silence women when they want to speak about this and point it out um, in their families, um, at work, uh, wherever they are, they're being silent. They don't have a, they don't have a voice. Um, their voice needs to be on the terms of men. And then the second thing I think is, is the ignorance of men. We are very ignorant because we are privileged, um, tone deaf figures um, in this particular situation. So this particular run and cut section is specially meant for men. Um, and that the message that I have uh, for those men is stop killing. Us must stop killing women and children in South Africa. And we are part of the particular problem. We have become ignorant and tone deaf to the issue of the violence against women and children in South Africa. So we need to stop our ignorance and we have to join women in the struggle against um, the fight against the violence against women and children in South Africa. And as we join that fight, if you want to join the fight, let's join it. But we cannot join that fight on our terms. We need to join the fight on their terms. We need them to lead us in this particular. We need to let go of our privilege in it. So if we really want to help, let's sit down with the women in our immediate circles. Let's have a conversation about them, asking is um, where have I been an asshole or a privileged male figure and what can I do? Um, in the future, not to be as ignorant um, and as privileged as I can be. What can I do? And then the third thing that I want men to do is, you know, many of us know who's the violent figures and the, the abuses in our immediate circle. It's time to point them out. It's time to start a database, um, an online site, where we say these are the assholes. Um, this person have done this to uh, a woman. We have to uh, publicly shame um, these men. And uh, that public shame, we need to outcast that particular person uh, from, 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 from society. Because if they continue staying in society, then they're going to be pariahs um, and they're going to continue the violence against women and children. Um, so it's time to, for us to act against this. And, and by, by acting is to, for men specifically, is to stop the, stop the ignorance. It's not just another newspaper headline. Tomorrow it might be your child or it might be a woman close to you that, that you know that is in a newspaper. That is how serious it is currently in South Africa. So I hope after watching this that there is some level of awareness or there's some um, urgency to do something about it. Um, let's have the conversation, it's a tough conversation, but please do not be part of the problem. Uh, let's be part of the solution um, in stopping this particular wave against women in uh, the violence against women and children in South Africa. Thank you for watching and until we see each other again. Bye bye.